हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रीड लाइन रीड एंड रीड की मेथड्स इन सी शॉप दीज मेथड्स आर यूज टू टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट स्ट्रीम लाइक कंसोल स्क्रीन इन दिस वीडियो विल लर्न व्हाट ऑल दीज मेथड्स आर एंड व्हेन एंड हाउ टू यूज देम इन ए प्रोग्राम सो बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड जस्ट अ क्विक रिमाइंडर टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल हिट द रेड बटन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक ऑन द लिटिल बेल आइकॉन दैट वे यू विल बी नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम आई अपलोड ए न्यू वीडियो ओके विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओके व्हाट रीड लाइन रीड एंड रीड की मेथड्स आर मेथड्स रीड लाइन रीड एंड रीड की आर बेसिकली द स्टैटिक मेथड्स ऑफ द कंसोल क्लास दे आर यूज टू एक्सेप्ट यूजर इनपुट्स फ्रॉम द कंसोल स्क्रीन ओके लेट्स लर्न वन बाय वन रीड लाइन मेथड इफ यू सी द रिटर्न टाइप इज द नलेबल स्ट्रीम इट रीड्स ओनली अ सिंगल लाइन फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट स्ट्रीम एंड रिटर्न द सेम स्ट्रीम इट अलाउज मल्टीपल वर्ड इनपुट्स इंक्लूडिंग स्पेस एंड टैब इज पार्ट ऑफ द इनपुट as this is the static method of the console class so we don't need to create an object of the console class for accessing this method we simply call this read line method with its class name that is console dot read line we would be able to call this read line method okay let's try to understand it with the help of example shown over here so here what i have done i have written one console dot read line statement that basically reads the text from the console screen and returns the screen and that's what i am storing the read values in the string variable named str my input right so that's what i have written a string str my input is equal to console dot read line and then finally what i am doing i'm just printing into the console window just for the demo purpose okay let's assume user entered keep learning as a text and console dot read line method read it and we are stored it in the string variable str my input and that variable value i am printing into the console window and value got printed as a keep learning if you see the output shown over here right so whatever the user is putting into the console screen same output we are going to get it if you are going to print it what we capture using the console dot read line state right so now you must have understood that read line methods read the entire text by the user and return the same as string as a nullable string and that we can use it in our program right okay now let's see the read method so read return type is the int it reads the next character from the standard input stream and returns the ascii value of the character ascii value is nothing but the integer value of that particular character we have already ascii value table right so each and every character is mapped to some ascii value that ascii value character this read method is going to return for that equivalent character okay so it is the best suited for the single value input in other words it reads the next character from the standard input stream and returns the next character from the input stream or a negative one if there are currently no more characters to be read okay let's try to understand with the help of example shown over here so here i have written int my input is equal to console dot read let's suppose user has enter capital r over here so console dot read a statement is just going to read this r and capital r ascii value is going to return and that value that we are going to store into this my input variable of the in data type right and same my input variable value we are just going to print into this console window by this console dot write line statement and if you see the output is coming as a 82 82 what is that it is the ascii value of the capital r so this console dot read basically reads the character and it just return its ascii value that ascii value we are going to store into this my input variable and finally we are printing and that's what we got this 82 value which is nothing but the ascii value of the capital r okay now let's see the read key method what this read key method does its return type is the console key input whatever the next character or function key user is going to press we are going to capture it with the help of read key method that's what this definition says it obtains the next character a function key pressed by the user it is usually used to hold the screen until the user presses a key okay let's try to understand with the help of example shown over here here so what i have done i have written this console dot write line statement so basically in this statement i am just informing user press any key to continue okay let's suppose user you know uh, used f5 function key okay so that function key we are just going to capture using the console dot read key statement and then we are storing into this variable of this console key info right finally we are just going to print 
k dot key value so basically k dot key value is just going to give us the f5 value that's what you see this statement it is giving me output as a entered key f5 so this read key is very very useful in the gaming program where usually we expect you know the gamer needs to put some you know function key or maybe you know type something so those value we are going to capture it then based on that then we are going to perform some operation based on the key right what user has entered so that's where this read key is very very important and it's another use is it is usually used to hold the screen until the user presses a key let's suppose some calculation is happening and we just write the console.read key so basically it will hold the screen until the user presses any key okay now let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action okay so here we are on visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the read line read and read key methods in shisha so for that what i have done i have created one console application read line versus read versus read key demo inside that we have program.cs file in program.cs file there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application see here what i have done i have added this you know namespace using system because console class inside this system namespace only okay and then in this main method what i have done i have written this console dot write line statement because i'm just giving the demo of the read line read and read key methods right so i have written this statement then first i'm just going to show the demo of the read line so that's what i just printed this read line example so here what i'm doing i'm just writing this write line statement into this console window please enter some text that will be read by the read line here what i am doing i have just written console.readline statement okay so let's suppose all is well is going to get entered by the user for example okay so this all is well a string is going to get returned from this read line statement okay and those value we are storing into this str input variable of the nullable string okay and then finally what i am doing i am writing this statement into this console window enter text is whatever the value that we capture into this string variable we are going to print it into this console window so output should come like you know all is well we will be seeing after executing this what is the output is going to come but whatever user is going to put entry as a in console window same thing is going to get captured by the read line statement that value that we are going to store into this str input and that's what we are printing into this console dot write line statement right okay so that is the one example of the read line example second thing is let's suppose if you want to you know capture only the character so how we are going to do that so for that purpose what we are going to do console dot write line statement i have written enter a character so let's suppose user is going to put value as a r or maybe you know they have put ravi okay so in that case i am just going to capture onto only the first character of the particular registry so what i am doing over here console dot read line statement i have written like this only and then i am just taking the character from the zeroth position okay that's what i have written this statement and then we are storing that particular character into the character data type okay that's what i have written character ch is equal to console dot read line and then zero and then same character i am just going to print into this console window input character is whatever the user has input those input we are going to capture into this character variable and then printing into this console window so basically let's suppose if i am going to put as a r or maybe ravi okay then the first character is just going to get captured into this character variable and then same we are going to print into this console window okay we will see what is the output is going to come for this particular statement before that we just look into the read example okay what read example is talking about here i'm just printing into this console dot write line statement because i'm just giving the demo of the read example in the same program itself so here what i'm doing i'm just asking user to put a character into this console window right that's what i have written console dot write line enter a character so i'm requesting users to enter some character okay and that character it is read by this console dot read statement okay and then we are going to store into this int mine because console dot read line statement it is just going to read the next character from the extender input history and return the ascii value of that particular character okay and that ascii value is of int data type 
that's what we are storing into this int my input the same thing i'm just going to print into this console dot right line statement right my input my input whatever the value that we are going to get it as a form of the ascii value this variable is going to get printed into this console dot right line the my input is the ascii value of the care of my input whatever the user has put the you know character over there so i'm just going to convert that you know into this character itself then we are printing so let's suppose if i'm going to put the value as a r r ascii value is 82 so it will print like this 82 is the ascii value of the character character is nothing but yes it is r capital r so this this statement should get printed into this console window okay we will see next we have read key example okay here i'm just printed this statement console dot write line read key. So here what i'm going to do i'm just asking the user to enter some key so that's what i have written this statement console dot write line press any key to continue and then whatever the user is pressing or entering some key that key we are going to capture using this console dot read key method okay so read key method basically return as a console key info that we are storing into the k variable and then if you want to put what you know uh, user has press any key so those we are going to capture using this k dot key value that's what if you want to fetch what actual uh, user has entered any key so i'm just going to get the key value k dot key and that's what this statement is doing console dot right line entered key k dot key so this statement is going to get printed into this console window entered key and whatever the you know uh, function key or maybe you know uh, they have you know put something so those thing is going to get printed into this console window. okay now let me execute this program and see the output okay so output got appear into this console window here we got the uh, statement demo of the read line read and read key methods because we have written console dot write line so this statement got printed and then read line example a statement got printed so here program is requesting to enter some text that will be read by the red line so what i'm going to do i'm just writing all is well okay so this statement i have written and then i'm just press enter okay so enter text is all is well got printed right because we have used this read line state whatever we are typing in a line that statement is just going to capture using the read line and the same thing we are going to print into this console window and that's what it got printed enter text is all is well now another example let's say i'm just writing ravi okay so here what will happen i'm just interested for the you know first character whatever the user has entered instead of character i'm just putting ravi name over here what it will do it is just going to give me the input character is r because i have written this statement read line console dot read line and then zeroth position character right so zeroth position character is here r capital r so this capital r statement got printed input character is out now read example it is asking enter a character let's say i'm just printing r over here and then pressing enter so it is giving me 82 is the ascii value of the r because what i have done over here i have written this statement right this enter a character so i have entered capital r okay now this console dot read statement is just going to read this r value and then it is just going to return the ascii value of the r that we have stored into this int variable my input and that's what this my input is the ascii value right so my input is nothing but 82 so 82 is the ascii value of r got printed right now it is asking me read key example press any key to continue so for that what i am going to do i am just going to print function f5 okay so let's see f function and then f5 i have entered whatever i have entered it got printed enter key k dot key so entered key f5 got printed right and if you see this console dot read key statement i have written at the last right so it is just allowing me to stay in the same screen okay until i press anything let's say i'm just going to print enter it get closed right because this statement got executed and then breakpoint i have put it over there so it came over there and i'm just going to continue 
so this program got indent right okay so that's how this read line read and read key methods of the console class works and these all are the aesthetic methods so we don't need to create an instance of this console class we can directly use with the help of the class name itself console.read key console.read or console.read line right okay so now that brings me to end up my session to sum up in this video we show what read line read and read key methods are then we talked about how and when to use it in a program right that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video